Hi, I'm Susan Feniger. And I'm Mary Sue Milliken. And today, we're going to show you how to make an absolutely incredible frittata with California avocados and piquillo peppers. This is like the perfect dish for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's a great dish to entertain with. And really, one of the key ingredients, obviously, are California avocados. We developed this recipe for the California Avocado Commission. But believe me, avocados, to me, are like the perfect food. So we love to use avocados all year round, but particularly March through September is when the height of the avocado season here in California. We use tons of them in our restaurants. And if you've never eaten a California avocado warm in a dish like this with wow. the eggs and the peppers and the garlic, you're going to be blown away by the flavor. It has an incredible zing to it when you heat up the avocado and you get a, a lot more avocado flavor. So what we're going to do is make this frittata. Basically, we're making the filling, which is made from piquillo peppers and avocado and a little bit of garlic and sherry vinegar. So let's get started. Whenever we're cutting avocados, we take our hand, lay it flat on the top, and then just turn the avocado around like this. Then we turn it, open it up, and then it's really easy. You're just gonna take the seed out. And you just pop it out just like that with the tip of a spoon. It pops out very simply. Now I'm gonna cut that avocado in quarters because it's the easiest way to peel it. We're gonna basically peel it like a banana. And also, you see how that there's a dark green part that's closest to the skin? That's where the greatest concentration of nutrients is. You wanna make sure that you don't leave them on the skin. So if you use this peeling method, it works really, really well. I mean, literally, this is virtually the only fruit that has monounsaturated fats. I mean, that's amazing. You and need these good fats. It and has this is the great way to get them. Nearly 20 vitamins and minerals. So that's a, that's a lot of, uh, you know, nutrition that you're getting in every bite. All right, so we're, what we're, so what we're doing here is Really, it's about how great the food's gonna taste. So what we're doing is taking this avocado, adding California a little, avocados. A little bit of these roasted uh, piquillo peppers, which you can buy in any grocery store in, in a can. They're peeled and ready to go. This is what I love about this recipe, is if I have a can of piquillo peppers in the pantry, I always have avocados on hand at home. I can get dinner on the table in about 20 minutes, which is pretty valuable in this day and age. So what, so what we've got here is this mixture, and we're gonna add a little bit of salt and black pepper, garlic, and sherry vinegar. Because what we're getting now is the richness from the avocado. We're adding vinegar for the acidity to balance this. And this is gonna be the filling, and you can save some of this also to put on top if you want. I mean, this is great just as a salsa itself to go on top of anything, a piece of grilled fish, a piece of chicken, in the middle of a sandwich. I mean, honestly, I think avocados go with about everything. They do. Even actually, on its own. When you're shopping for uh, California avocados, which is, mm. like Susan said, from mm. March through September, when you're choosing avocados in the store, what you want to do is hold it in the palm of your hand and just squeeze with the base of your palm a little bit. It should have the tiniest bit of give, and that's how you know it's ready to eat. Now, those avocados are going to be uh, marinating in that delicious garlic and sherry wine vinegar, salt and pepper, while we beat up about six or eight eggs and then we're gonna just mix the eggs together with a little bit of hard cheese. We are using a Spanish manchego, which is right here, which is grated. Or if you're at home and you don't have manchego, you could use Parmesan or Romano or a little bit of even Monterey Jack. Whatever you have is good. And we're getting our pan hot so that right now, when we're ready to throw it in, the pan's gonna be hot, the eggs are gonna set up, just begin to set up almost immediately. So these are marinating. If you, you Even when you're adding any component to it, if you want to taste it, make sure that the flavor there is really good. Any excuse to taste avocado, mm. that's what I like. <laughs> now mm. we add the cheese, we beat the eggs briefly. You don't have to have them completely whipped up. And then we just stir in that filling. So it's going in there. And then the thing that I think to remember whenever you're working with California avocados is that, you know, the perfect um, ripeness is what we're looking for. Now we got a little olive oil in the pan, nice and hot. And then we're gonna just add into it a little bit of that chopped parsley I wanna put in there too. And once this is cooked just about halfway, then I like to throw it in the oven to finish it, which just takes a couple of minutes. Okay, let's put this in the oven, let it cook for just about three or four minutes, and then it'll be ready to come out. Okay, I think these this frittata is ready. 
We don't want to overcook it because we like the eggs to be a little bit soft so you get that great texture. Look at that. Wow, beautiful. Milliken, you can cook. <laughs> well, it's easy when you've got great ingredients. Look at that. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. Is that gorgeous? Oh my, is that unbelievable? Okay. Yum, I can't wait to eat it. So uh, let's see, want to take a little wedge there? I'm starved. I'm totally starved. And the great thing is, you know, when it comes out of the oven warm like this, it tastes really creamy. And look at those look avocados. At so this is great room temperature, too. This is just perfect. I made a little bit of extra of that salsa. California Yum. avocado, piquillo pepper. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, my God. How good does that look? This is a recipe, like I said, you could have it for a, a, for dinner. You could make it for light lunch. You could have it for breakfast. And you just you can let it just sit out like that. Now, if you're interested in doing this, which I hope you are, you just go to CaliforniaAvocado.com. And there's lots of recipes for all kinds of avocado dishes. I'm taking there. a bite. Mmm. I can't wait. What do you think? Yeah. All right.